A Maryland woman reached out to us. She says she got her two shots, but each dose was a different vaccine. One Pfizer, one Moderna. So what does this mean for her health? And is she technically fully vaccinated? Our Jess Arnold spent the day getting some answers. She joins us now live and Jess, what are you learning? Lorenzo, I spoke with a Johns Hopkins doctor today and he said there is not a lot of research on this, but since they both contain that mRNA and protein, he would consider her fully vaccinated. And he said that since she hasn't displayed any symptoms two weeks out now from that last vaccine, the doctor said that she should be fine. But it has been a whirlwind couple of weeks for Belinda Young as she has been searching for answers. Belinda Young was thrilled to get her second shot March 31st. She showed up at Anne Arundel Medical Center to get another Moderna dose, but says she forgot her vaccine card in the car and told the nurse that. She says they looked her up in the system and it seemed she was squared away, so she got the shot. And I'm sitting here all happy and, you know, getting ready. And I was like, wait a minute, wait, why does it say Pfizer? And because I got Moderna on the first shot. She had gotten two different vaccines. Every single doctor that you listen to is saying, you have to stay with what you already have. So, am I a misfit? I don't get it. <laughs> Anna Rundle Medical Center told us standard procedure for second doses is to verify the manufacturer of the first dose with the vaccination card or through the state system. But quote, in rare instances, we're unable to verify this information using either method. If a community member comes into one of our clinics without presenting a vaccination card and we're unable to verify their first vaccine in the state system, we will now reschedule their appointment until we can confirm the manufacturer. Young is glad there's a policy change, but what does having both a Moderna and Pfizer dose mean for her health, and does she need another shot? Dr. Panagi Skaliatsatos with Johns Hopkins says he would consider her fully vaccinated. So if this was my patient, I would tell her, like, you know, it, it's the same technology. I think you should be fine. I think it's still going to get us the outcome that we want in regards to kind of the immunity and establishment of that. So why don't doctors recommend taking two different vaccines? He says simply there's no data to support it right now. Mixing has yet to be tested. Young has her own recommendations for those getting vaccinated. Pay attention to everything that's written in every step of the way while you're going through those lines. And she still wants everyone to get the shot. I don't want anyone to not get it because I'm one of those high risk people. So I, I would like to see everyone get vaccinated. Now, recently, the Pfizer CEO said that people will likely need a booster shot in about a year. So what does Young, who only got one of those shots, do? Dr. Galliot Sato said his advice would be to err on the side of caution and take it.